What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. Um, the, the sun is actually shining and I actually tried to film this video outside on the balcony, but it was a little bit too noisy. But nevertheless, back here inside where the sound is a little bit better. So we're here. This is my six month portfolio update. Um, looking forward to, to sharing this with you guys i've learned a hell of a lot over the last six months um but yeah before we get into my portfolio um make sure you you drop me a like it's free to show your support it doesn't cost you a thing um if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all my latest content not only about property but also investing and personal finance so please show your support it's it's always always appreciated Now, as we all know, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency has skyrocketed over the last couple of years or so, although it has seen a slight decrease um, in the last couple of weeks, um, but still very, very high. And a lot of companies such as Tesla and MicroStrategy are investing millions and billions of dollars into Bitcoin. In fact, I even seen a local donut shop accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment. So that just shows you how Bitcoin is taken over our lives at the minute. And I believe that trend is set to continue in the future. So I wanted to invest in cryptocurrency without actually investing in cryptocurrency. Um, although I have started uh, investing in cryptocurrency, but that's a whole nother video. So I started investing in Argo Blockchain. Argo Blockchain are a cryptocurrency mining company, which basically means they verify cryptocurrency transactions. So as compensation for verifying these transactions and supporting the crypto network, they receive cryptocurrency as a form of payment, but also receive a transaction of the fee. So the more and more people start investing in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and other types of, of coins, um, the more that companies like Argo Blockchain, these mining companies are going to make profits in the future. So as you can see from my portfolio, I bought these shares in Argo blockchain um, about four, six, four to six weeks ago. Um, and I bought them at one pound per share and they have since doubled and then some in value. So my shares are now worth two pound fifty per share um, and I've doubled my investment. The, my shares are up 139 percent, which is amazing. So Argo blockchain and Cryptocurrency mining companies are definitely um, an area to um, consider in the future if you're looking for areas of growth um, and also um, a, a good way to kind of invest in cryptocurrency without actually putting your money into cryptocurrency. You're investing in the industry around it and that infrastructure. Coca-Cola's share price has dropped quite dramatically from the announcement of lockdown 3.0 and they have since reported a fourth quarter um, drop in earnings or, or profits actually from 29% um, to $1.4 billion, which sounds crazy because they're still in profit by a uh, a, um, a staggering amount of money but to a massive company like coca-cola obviously a, a loss of um, profits from 29 percent will impact the company quite dramatically and that has since reflected in the share price and also they have cut um, around 2,000 jobs um, across the company as well but not to fear when we're in the red that's not a time to panic that's not a time to sell it's an opportunity to actually buy more shares and that's exactly what i did i increased my position in Coca-Cola because I believe that it is a solid stock for the future um, and that's what it's about. It's about the long game uh, investing. It's not about those short gains um, over a short period of time. We're investing for the long run for the future so we can ride out these, these tough times when we see our stocks in the red in the hopes that we know in the future it's going to increase over time and they're going to pay dividends in the long run. Now, I actually tuned in to my first clubhouse room, um, if that's how you call it. I don't know the correct terminology at the minute. I'm still getting used to the to the app. But um, yeah, I logged into my first room um, this weekend, actually, and it was this week. 
Um, Kurt's the accountant, a good friend of mine who we know is, is very knowledgeable and has a, a vast amount of experience in investing. Um, and he hosts a, a, a clubhouse room talking about investing 101 with Lewis Harding, um, who I also follow on Instagram. So make sure you check those guys out if you haven't already. Um, and an interesting fact about what um, Lewis said, actually, um, about AT&T, which I, I did have in my portfolio. Um, and they, he said that he, he kind of highlighted the massive amount of debt that AT&T are actually in. And it is the equivalent to the whole economy of New Zealand. And for me, when he said that, that was just a red flag for me. So I actually sold my stocks in AT&T um, and then started investing in an index fund. Now, it's said that beginners in investing can actually make more money investing in index funds rather than investing in individual stocks. Because as we know about index funds, they track the, the whole market, um, a, a variety of different companies rather than investing in individual stocks. And that way you minimize your risk, you diversify your portfolio um, and you're not reliant on the the kind of um, background information of individual stocks and you're tracking the whole market as a whole. So like I say, you're minimizing your risk and you're diversifying your portfolio. So um, I, I obviously didn't do this um, when I started investing. I started investing directly in stocks. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of um, make sure I'm, I'm kind of minimizing my risk within my portfolio by investing in index funds. So I started investing in the FTSE 100 um, Vanguard um, index fund. Um, and yeah, we'll be increasing that um, over time. AstraZeneca. I had big hopes for this stock because after... Obviously, the announcement in the news of AstraZeneca um, contributing or creating the, the COVID vaccine, I believed that this stock was going to skyrocket. It was going to fly, but it's actually decreased by a massive amount of money. Like, it's, my current stock is down like 70%, and I don't actually know why. So if anyone knows why AstraZeneca is, is down and not up after, obviously, the, the massive contribution they have made to getting us out of this global pandemic, please let me know because I'm, I'm baffled at the minute. My Barclays stock is up 39% um, after they announced the banking firm um, beat their forecasted numbers. Um, they actually reported a full year profit of three billion pounds um, on top of their 21 billion pound um, income um, and have since announced um, the resumption of the dividend payments um, for their shareholders, which is great news. Similar to Coca-Cola, Unilever, a solid stock which has dropped, dropped in price um, after they kind of missed their expectations um, over the last couple of years due to obviously the coronavirus. Um, but they have plans for expansions in US, India and China um, for their kind of long term growth strategy. Um, so definitely a stock which I'm, I'm interested in investing in more. Um, I increased my kind of position um, in Unilever um, with that drop in share price um, and saw that as an opportunity to buy more stocks. Um, and yeah, definitely one for the future and a, a good dividend paying stock as well. My Rolls Royce stocks are up um, around 35%, which is great. Um, and that's after um, the obviously announcement um, of a share offering to their current shareholders where they could purchase um, additional shares at a reduced rate. I believe I got my shares for like 35 pence, which was great. Um, so yeah, they're doing really well for me at the minute, although the current share price is still very, very low at £1.07. But I got big hopes for, for Rolls Royce. I think they're a solid company. They've got a great history um, and they are looking at ways that investing in kind of cleaner, more green energy um, for the future um, with kind of their kind of products and offerings. Um, so, yeah, I think they will bounce back from obviously this this pandemic and this dip that they've had. Um, and hopefully they will kind of see the, the share price increase to what we've seen um, in the past of them before the pandemic actually came. I believe that's um, last 
uh, February, um, around January times, the share price was around nine pounds. So um, a lot of potential for this um, to, to recover in the future, I think. Under Armour was actually a free stock which I received from my referral code. Um, so if you're interested in in investing in trading 212, make sure you check out my referral code where you can receive a free stock and I will also receive a free stock. So it's a win-win for both of us. But that I actually kept that um, share um, and it, it's done really, really well. Um, it's actually up 60%. Um, and I actually recently read an article on Yahoo Finance which suggests that um, over the next four years up until 2025, um, the kind of sports um, running industry um, will kind of grow by four billion dollars, which is crazy. Um, and obviously, Under Armour play a, a big role within that. Obviously, um, against the likes of the big players in the game like Nike and, and Adidas, but um, definitely an, an, an opportunity for for Under Armour to to kind of grow in the next uh, couple of years or so. Procter and Gamble are a, a great dividend paying stock. Um, I believe they've um, increased their dividend year on year for the past five years. So um, I started investing in them, only a small amount of money to start off with, but over time, hoping to kind of increase my position with them um, to benefit from those, those dividend payments. And lastly, I have Apple and Amazon stocks, um, which I haven't really increased my position with. Um, I, I'm just trying to focus on on other areas, other areas of growth um, and kind of more dividend paying stocks. Um, although Apple are, do pay dividends, I um, actually received my first dividend payment from Apple, uh, a, a massive amount of three pence the other month. But every every penny counts, right? And like like I say, we're in, we're in it for the long game. Um, the more I reinvest that money um, into uh, investing, um, the more compounding effect and that money will build and build over time. And, and that is that is the game um, for the long run. So that is my, my portfolio, a beginner. I've, I've been six months investing um, using Trading212 and I've really enjoyed it. I, I feel that I am learning more and more um, as, as the weeks and months roll by. Um, so yeah, if you haven't started investing, I highly recommend it. We need to start putting our money to good use um, and buying assets which put money in our pockets rather than buying liabilities um, and taking money out of our pockets. We need to think about um, the future goals. Um, so yeah, thank you again for joining. Um, make sure you, you like, um, drop me a comment, um, let me know what kind of stocks you're, you're currently investing in, what stocks you're keeping away from, what's your opinion on cryptocurrency? obviously a massive area um, and asset which is flying at the minute. I'd love to get your opinion on that. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to, to help me out and help me build this channel as much as possible. But thank you again for listening. Um, hope you're all keeping well and doing safe and I'll see you again next time.